Hi there! I love teaching beginners Japanese lessons, and no, I'm not actually a certified teacher. I have this really good book called Japanese in 30 Hours, which I'm going to start posting here on my YouTube account for those of you who are trying to learn Japanese. It's a really good book. It can teach you how to structure a sentence really quickly, and you'll be able to make all kinds of sentences just by adding in new nouns that you learn, <coughs> or nouns that you look up for yourself. So, I hope I'm not going to be, you know, stepping on copyright laws, because posting somebody else's uh, lessons, but uh, the book is really old, and it only cost me about five dollars. And uh, I probably won't be teaching it word for word in some areas. For example, uh, they use the form of, of I, me, myself. Instead of saying watashi, they would say watakushi in the book, but I'm going to switch it to watashi because uh, I don't think too many people use watakushi. So, yeah. Some things you'll need to do as you watch these lesson videos is uh, you'll need to copy the Japanese exercise sentences, their translations, and any vocabulary I post. It's important to memorize them, but don't worry because there's not a whole lot and each lesson is pretty simple and short. Personally, I learned from just the exercises, but I'm, I'm going to share all the information in, in the short lessons because they're not very long and uh, I just want to make sure everybody can learn it because people have different ways of learning things, information, and absorbing things. So um, I'll have text on the screen and I'll be speaking each sentence in Japanese and English. That way it'd be more useful to you. Um, you're learning, <coughs> I guess, the romanji and the pronunciation at the same time. Also, it might even be helpful to a Japanese student who's trying to learn English. I don't know, maybe they can get something out of this. The lessons will only teach you how to speak Japanese. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to write in kanji because, to be honest, I really didn't teach myself very much kanji and I forgot what I did know. And uh, it's uh, really easy for you to learn the hiragana and katakana alphabets on your own. You can just look them up on Google or whatever and you'll see them and you can practice writing them and um, it's, it's not very hard to find them at all. Um, for your first quick in instruction, uh, in this video we'll just talk about pronunciation. There are only five vowel sounds in Japanese, unless you count, I guess, the letter Y. Um, if you see the letter A in English, you might pronounce it A ah, or A. In Japanese, the letter A is always pronounced as A. Ah. That's simple enough for you, I hope. If you see the letter I, it is pronounced E. If you see the letter U, it's always pronounced U. If you see the letter E, it's always pronounced E. Eh. If you see the letter O, it's always pronounced O, same as in English. So, good luck everybody. Gambate.